Hi everybody, it's Chase here at All Things Automotive and we have a special vehicle for you today. You're not going to find very many that look like this, so stay tuned to the video and we'll show you uh, what's in it, what the features are, as well as give you a look at the underside. This is a 2012 Chevrolet Silverado regular cab, 8 foot bed, and of course it is 4 wheel drive and powered by the 5.3 liter Chevrolet uh, Ecotec engine. Starting off here in the front, it is an LT trim, so you do get that full chrome grille, chrome lower bumper. Of course, the previous owner did add this nice little bug shield here. It's going to help protect the uh, nose of the hood here. Coming around to the side, you're going to see a uh, chrome plated rim uh, wrapped up with a hand cooked Dynapro all terrain tire. That looks to have, I'd say, three quarters of its tread or so left. You do have a nice uh, four inch tube, Weston chrome step. Of course, your Silverado badging here. Um, coming back, Nice uh, trifold tonneau cover. Of course, your 4x4 badges here in the back. You're going to see your Chevrolet, Silverado, and your LT badging back here. In addition to that, you do have your 2 inch hitch receiver down low, as well as the plug for a 7 pin wiring connection. Take a quick look at the inside of the bed. Drop in bed liner. Of course, your four standard tie downs, one inside of each one of those holes there. Continuing up to the front, it's a regular cab truck here, so uh, just have your power windows for the front doors there, as well as your power locks and mirrors. Uh, jumping onto the inside, you do have a uh, manually adjusting lumbar support, manually adjusting back tilt, and manually adjusted uh, forwards and backwards there on the base of the seat. We did go ahead and put our All Things Automotive uh, rubber floor mats in here to help protect the uh, floor. The truck did not have floor mats in it when we traded it. Jumping in here, you're going to see your center console. You have your three cup holders, of course, some more storage in there. Looking at these keys, we actually do have two keys for the truck. I'm not sure where the other one is. Um, if it doesn't actually have one, we will get one cut. We sell all our vehicles with two keys. It's about $150 value per key these days, believe it or not, between the cost of the key and the cost to program it to the vehicle. Starting it up, super, super low miles for a 12. 63,131 miles on it so it is out of its powertrain warranty based on the time it's been on the road and on the miles but we have options to add an additional 10 years or 100,000 miles of powertrain coverage or bumper to bumper coverage whatever suits your needs back to the vehicle if you're concerned about that on the left hand side you're going to see your cruise control items coming into the center stack you do have AM FM radio down below that standard climate controls four wheel drive controls two 12 volt power supplies there. You do have two separate glove compartments over here. You have this one up top. It's kind of a hidden one. And then of course the one down below. You can see your books in there. Take a quick look at the Carfax here. So no accidents or damage. It has, has, two, has had two owners. It was first owned as a rental vehicle way back in 2011. And then it was owned personally in the state of Pennsylvania for the rest of its life. Usually there's a multi-point inspection here, and they probably will print one and put it in before it goes out. But I can tell you that as a fresh oil change, a fresh Pennsylvania State inspection, like I said earlier, the tires are about three quarters of their original tread depth. So really good uh, measurements on your wearable parts. And the last part of the video is what everyone probably wanted to see right off the bat in the beginning, and that is the underside of the car. So looking at the body, the body looks to be in pretty good condition the whole way back. The underside of the vehicle have some surface rust on some frame components but uh, overall really great condition for a 12. You don't see a whole lot of them looking like this. Um, looks like we did take some time undercoat that underneath but even prior to that you can see the sticker was still on it and it's mostly just uh, surface rust there on those components. Uh, looking underneath the rockers here they look to be in good condition as well. Bottom of the bedside metal also looking good. Like I said when I started the video, you are not going to find a 2012 Silverado that looks like this, and this truck will not last long on the lot. If you want to come out and take a look at it, you can stop and see us at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. Visit us online at allthingsautomotive.com or give us a call at 717-485-4224. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you found it to be informative.